Brighton's luxury marina opens up a big new world for British yachtsmen. A Scottish theme at this year's boat show in Earl's Court, London, Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster, greets the boat-loving public, and the Scots bring their own special side attractions. For weekend sailors, the boat show has everything. Among the power yachts, Mamba, a 360 horsepower cruiser in the leisure class. Life is pleasantly relaxed in the Mamba and craft like her. Orders from home and international markets have surpassed even the most optimistic hopes. Boat hire holidays offered by a well-known travel firm bring luxury cruising within reach of average pockets. As well as providing a wide range of craft to mess about in, the company shows clients how to handle them. They're great for the family with plenty of room. This year, the boat show has something for up-and-coming captains. The models are remote controlled. Lewis Marine display the GP-150 and from America the famous Glastrons in their range of sports boats. It's not all about power boating. Sail is probably the most popular attraction in the lower price bracket. This is what messing about in boats really means. The bumblebee is just right for the kids, an ideal sail trainer. And some of the names are bang up to date. One of the first big orders taken at the show was for two fairway trawler 38s at £49,000 each. Although this model has everything for relaxation, it has trans-ocean capabilities. The Moody 42, British built, is catch-rigged with a motor in case the wind drops. The size of orders in the early days of the show surprised old hands in the business, and much of the money came from the home market. The Powell's 46, at £123,250, is strictly for millionaires. Maximum 23 knots, featherbed comfort from stem to stern. That's the Powell's 46. Maybe you can't buy a Powell's 46 this year, but you can always dream.